Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 13 and in this video we're going to talk about else if statements. Alright then guys, so in the last lesson you saw me talk through and introduce if statements and it was just a simple if statement that checked whether a certain condition was true. If it was, then it would output something to the browser over here. If it wasn't true, then it would fall back on the else statement which would output a different um, text to the browser. So what if you want to check for multiple different conditions? Well, you can use what's called an else if statement and that tags along on the back of an if statement and I'll show you what I mean by this. What I'm going to do is declare a variable called my, oops, my age. And I'm going to put that equal to 29. And then what I'm going to do is write a simple if statement to say if my age is over 30, then I'll document.write. So I'm going to write out to this document over here, you are over 30. 30. Okay, so it's going to check my age. If it's over 30, it's going to write this out. Now, in the past, in the previous lesson, we wrote else and then we did a catch all else here. So if it didn't equate to that, if that was false, then we'd do an alternative backup. Now, what if I want to check multiple different conditions like this? Well, I can do that by writing else if and then we can put a different condition in here. So I could now say my age is over 20. And I'll copy this over here and I'll paste it within here and I'll just change that to 20. So this time I'm saying if it's over 20, so if it's not over 30, but it's over 20, I can write you are over 20 to the document. And likewise, I can do another else if, and this time I'll say if my age is over 10, do another code block and then paste this in again and I'll change this to 10. And this time I'm checking if the age is over 10, I'll write this out. And then finally, we'll just do an else, not an else if, just to catch everything else. And we'll paste this in once more to say, you are not over 10, okay? So the way this works is this. We start at the top and my age is assessed. If it's over 30, then we write out this. If it's not over 30, we skip this and we go to the next one. We say else if my age is over 20. If it's over 20, then it writes out this one. If it's not over 20, then it skips it and goes down to this next else if. Then we evaluate my age to be over 10. If that's true, then it writes out this to the document, you are over 10. If it's not, then it skips it again. And this is the final catch all. And because none of these are true, then we can write out and safely assume that you are not over 10. All right, makes sense. So I'm going to save this now and refresh over here. And it says you are over 20, which is right because I'm 29. So my age is not over 30, but it gets down here. My age is over 20, so then it writes out this. But if I change this to, say, 19, let's see. Yep, you are over 10, so it's coming down to this one. If I put 9 in, I can save and refresh. You are not over 10. And then finally, let's put 49 in because that's over 30. Refresh, you are over 30. Perfect. So, my friends, that is what an else if statement is. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. I'm going to answer all of those as soon as I can. Otherwise, if you enjoy these videos, please like, share or subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.